and welcome back to my channel where today we're going to do our third and final unboxing for the Song of Ice and Fire mini just game this week and what we have over here is the House Martel starter set which is my most favorite faction in the storybook series and I've been actually been a fan of House Martel I've been playing a lot of this faction even in the living card game that was made by Fantasy Flight Games but what we have over here is the miniatures game that was made by Simon and these are the back of the box we have the content list over here quite a lot of stuff inside this starter so I find it um, really worth it we've got all my favorite characters like Oberyn Martel, Elaria Sand, Doran Martel as well as his guard which is Ariel Hotha so let's take a open into the starter and here with my trusty exacto knife we're going to uh, cut this up as you can see the starter uh, starter set has everything you need to actually play the game now the only additional thing that you may want to get which is to download the war council app that you can find in your mobile devices and here we go beautiful beautiful box we got the Dark Sword Miniatures logo at the side as well. And over here, we got a couple of advertisements. Like I mentioned, you can download the War Council app. And here we have uh, three languages. We got the traditional Chinese, the basic Chinese, as well as English. So it looks like my starter set will have these three languages. As we can see, the tactics board over here. This is the uh, normal Chinese. We got the traditional Chinese writing as well. That's really nice. I got all three languages um, inside the starter. And here we have the normal English one. Where they have all five of the tactic bo tactics board spots. And here we have the um, content list. Show you what you get inside the starter. More visual than the back of the box. And here we also have the rule book. This is the normal Chinese, traditional Chinese, and here is the English one. Let's take a quick look. I do remember there are a lot of artwork that you can find inside this, um, this rule books. Beautiful, fully colored, very nice. And here we have Victorian Greyjoy. And the Iron Throne. I really like this uh, back of the rule book where they give you like quick guides. And here, let's put this aside. Okay, these are the punchable tokens that you can find. You got your, all your terrain, your activation tokens. And here we have the ruler. Got some coins as well as the weirwood tree. Put that aside, and here we have a um, couple of stacks of cards. Okay, so I do believe they all come in all three languages as well, including the Tatic stack. And here we have, oops, here we have the dices. Let's take a quick look at it. I really like how they printed the sun as the six. Here we go, uh, not too bad, we got a couple of um, nice rows, even though we see some ones. Here, let's take a look at this uh, card pack over here. Here we got the castle ball, which I do believe is like one of the um, scenarios that you can play. It's like a castle defense type of game. And as always, three languages. And I believe this is the water gardens. Yep, the Water Garden's Tactics Board kind of extends your Tactics Board for another zone. So you can only uh, get this Tactics Board if you were to play Doran Martel. Here we have the Quick Guide. Here are the Unit Cards. Here's the Dervishes, the Skirmishes, and the Royal Guard. Also in three languages. This is the English ones. Well, they really have high movement. Both moving at 6 for the skirmishes and dervishes. And uh, let me tear open this card pack. This should contain the tactics deck. Get this open. 
Now, I won't be looking at the cards. Um, I'll, oh, I'll only be looking at the cards briefly because you can find all of this information on the War Council app. Here are the Chinese cards. Okay, here we go with the English um, tactics stack for Doran. And here's the Red Viper Oberyn as well as the basic deck. Got another card pack over here. Let's cut this open. I do believe this would be the attachments as well as the NCU versions. Okay, we've got a lot of Sun Spear. Okay, these are the Chinese attachments as well as the commander cards. Here we have the Spearman Captain. We got two of them. Got the Dervishes Captain as well as the rest of the cards. Okay, that looks like the Chinese Tactics deck. Okay, so I still got one more stack of cards over here. So I do believe everything else should be in here. Here we go. Really looking forward to the rest of the units that will be coming out, such as the Starfall, Calvary, I believe there's Doom Vipers as well, and the Royal Guards, which has already been, um, well, you can find them in the market right now, but uh, hasn't arrived locally. Here are the uh, Siege Attacker cards, so as the Siege Defense cards. Manticore Venom. It's nice. That comes for with the Oberyn Commander. Here we have Eleria San, Doran Martel. Yeah. So I'm not going to open this small card pack because I do believe they are the mission cards. They should be the same ones. And here we have the unit trays. And let's take a look at the sculpts. They're really nicely done from at least the preview pictures I saw. Let me open this tray up and remove the scotch tape. Now one thing I really like about uh, how they did this uh, new commander of Doran is that you can actually pay 5 points to play him as a commander but you still get Ariel Hota as your on-field commander. I think this is such a unique way of doing the NCU commanders that are no longer present in the game. So I'm really looking forward to maybe more combinations that they're going to have in the future. And let's take a look at my favorite character, the Red Viper over in Martel. I think they did the sculpt really nice. I like how you have the sword as well as the scale leather at the back. And here we have Elaria Sen, who is the NCU in this starter. And she's the mother of four of Oberyn's daughters. And here we have Ariel Hota. Very dynamic scalp. It looks like as though he's going to about to swing his axe at his opponents. And here we have the patriarch of the faction, Doran Martel. Very nice scalp. Very detailed. I think he has the best uh, chair figure in this game. And here we have the dervishes with a flag. And here is a normal Dervidges scout. And here are the normal guards. I think they are very nicely done, even for these uh, cheap foot soldiers. Here is a quick look at the rest of the scout. I think those bowmen are the skirmishes. Okay. We got a couple more of these flagments. I think these belong to the guards. And these should be the spear captains. And what we have over here is another skirmishes with the bow. Very dynamic pose. As though he's about to shoot some arrows. And yeah, so this is actually the starter set that we have over here. But we are not done yet. We're going to also unbox this uh, box over here, which is the Martel Heroes one, which has a couple of the Sand Snakes, which are the daughters of Oberyn Martel. We've also got the Oberyn NCU as well, and the father of Elera Sand, which is Amon Haller. 
So let's take a look inside. This is the Hero Box one. And let's see, we got one huge stack of cards. Looks like I'll be getting all three languages again, which is Chinese, traditional Chinese, and English. Let's take a quick tear at that. And just like before, we won't be taking a look at the cards because you can find them online or the War Council app. And here we go. Bit more difficult than the previous cards. Okay. So we have Almond Holler. We got Obara San, the oldest daughter of Oberyn. These are the Chinese cards. Here are the English ones. Okay. And we have a poison card as well, which is the Strangler that comes with Taiyin Sen. Okay, we've got Nemeria, Taiyin, Oberyn. Sorry, two oldest daughters of Oberyn. And we've also got Nemeria Sen, which is the fourth daughter. Sorry, Elia Sen, which is the fourth daughter. Uh, I, if I do recall, it's uh, Obara, then it's Nymeria, then Tyene, then Celeras, and then it is um, Nymeria. Sorry, Elia, Elia. Elia is the fifth one. Yeah. <laughs> so um, let me tear open this. Take a closer look at the scalps as well. And I believe Scotch Tape is my worst enemy. Gonna cut this out with the exacto knife. As well as the other side. And here we have the scalps. Okay. It's our very first one, which is Eliasen, the fifth daughter of Oberyn Martel. She's accompanying Ariane Martel inside the upcoming Winds of Winter book. And here's Tayin Sen who is with the Septus. I do believe she's accompanying the new High Sparrow. And here is Lord Armand Holler. Very nice scout. I heard he's a good commander to use as well. And here we have Lady Nim, Lady Nameria, who is in King's Landing, where I believe she's representing Oberyn Martel after his death in the Small Council. And here's Obara Sen, who I believe is with one of the King's Guard who is hunting Geraldine Darkstar. So these are like the current storylines for our heroes in the upcoming Winds of Winter. And here we have my favorite, the Red Viper, Oberyn Martel, the NCU version, the Commander version as well. Side by side, I think they really look awesome. And yeah, so uh, thank you for tuning in to watch my unboxing videos. I can't wait to use my House Mattel figures to compete against the other factions of Westeros. Take care!